Hello again, it's Arlene here from From Pennies to Plenty. Today I want to cover how to make signs for your Poshmark closet. I've gotten this question a few times and I do want to show you through a tutorial how to do it because I think that'll make it a lot easier for you. I'm here in my closet and I made this sign already. It says, see you in Phoenix. I use this in my Meet the Posher post. I added it there. Some other common ones you'll see. This one here, this person said, send me offers. This is another one, bundle your likes and make me an offer. And one more here, reasonable offers accepted. Low ballers will be declined. <laughs> Please use manners when making offers. So you'll see all sorts of signs. And how you can do that is, well, I'll, I have a template already available for you on Canva. That's a site where you can easily make graphics. If you want access to this, this is a copy of Poshmark Signs in Canva. You can go ahead and go to my website. I am at frompenniestoplenty.com. This is my website. This is the homepage. If you're here, you can go to the free resource library. Go to the bottom here, enter your name and email address and click give me access. That will give you access to the free resource library, including the password for it. From there, you can find a link that will take you here to this copy of the Poshmark signs. And I haven't on the top here, important, please read first. <laughs> Do not alter this template. Please make a copy of this signs first. So click on the file, the word file here in the top left and then click make a copy. I will do that. This will copy the signs to your Canva account where you can edit them. Avoid editing this original template or everyone will see your edits and you may lose all your work. Thank you. So I'm gonna make a copy here. Okay. And this oddly enough says copy of copy of Poshmark signs. Well, I might wanna change that to say like my Poshmark signs. And if you don't already have a Canva account, it may ask you to sign up. It's free. I think it's worth it so you can make these visual pictures, not just for your Poshmark closet, but I use this also to make things for Instagram, YouTube, my blog posts, and just really fun things. You can put them on Facebook as well. It works everywhere. So I made this in a square shaped template and I'm going to scroll down. Okay, so it says go to your Canva home, locate copy of the Poshmark signs freebie on your dashboard. Well, it already pulled it up for me, right? It said copy of a copy. Click to open it and then you can edit as you'd like. You can change wording, font, text size, and background. There's also free templates available in this left column here. And when you're done, you will click download in the top right corner, select which ones you want to download, and then it will go to your phone or computer. So let's go through a few that I made. This is one I made. It says, welcome to my closet. And I like this because I like to welcome people to my closet. But I'm going to show you what you can do to edit it. And there, there are so many things you can do. I'm just going to show you a few here. I'm going to go to the top, this button here. This is the copy the page because I do want to keep that one. So I'm going to do that. And let's say I want to find a new photo. Um, I'm going to search for how about um, flowers. Well, that's the template. So there are some here. I might want to use this, right? So this is a nice one. It would change it to that. Or I can go to, let's see, photos here. And let's try flowers here. Let's see what comes up. Okay, so I found some nice pictures. Let's say I like this top one there. It's free. It says that there. Some of them you do have to pay for. If you scroll down further, you'll see some you have to pay for. I try and stick with the free ones. Free is good. I'm going to delete that picture and click on this one. And then I'm going to stretch it out so it covers the whole block. The position here, I want it to be backward. So that way my words come up and if I hold on to these I might want to do this just lower them down so that they're not on a busy part of this picture and I'm going to change it you see it's hard to read now and also the font is a little eh, it's okay let's see what should I change the font to oh uh, there are a few options these are the ones I commonly use so they're on top I like satisfy welcome to my closet. 
I'm going to change this to, how about purple? So there are some default colors here. These ones at the top are ones I've used in this template. And so that's why they're here again for you to see. You can actually access any color if you click on that square here with the plus sign. And I can go through and you see as I move this here, you see my closet is changing colors. I can move it down to here. And it'll be kind of a nicer pinkish color. Again, I can move this. That's pretty. I like that. So I'm going to change this one on top here. Welcome to. I want it to match that. I'm going to go up to here, the A. And I think it was this one. This is probably the color I used. Yep, it's there. And now I have it. So now I have one. Welcome to my closet. That's a new one. I like that. Let's scroll down some more and see some other examples. This one here says make an offer. Right. Reasonable offers welcome. Let's keep going. Uh, closet sale today only. Flash sale, winter sale, on vacation. I like to post this. I like to let people know that I'm on vacation. Going on vacation, be back soon. Oh, these are good. When you host a Poshmark party and you put up a sign like this in your closet, you're going to get a ton of attention. People are going to comment on your listing. They're going to want you to visit their closets and pick items. They're going to congratulate you. I think it's a good way to just be active on the platform, get people into your closet to see your items and hopefully share them. And then if you want, you can go through what they've offered you and select from their closets. I like to put one of these up every time I host a party. These are a few that I've made. Let's see if I pick something else. Um, I'm gonna go down here and again, copy this. I wanna go back to the templates here and see what they have. So let's do a pool. Okay, welcome to the shade, that looks fun. <laughs> Make a splash, that's cool. So this one to remove the watermarks, I'm going to have to pay. So I don't want to use that one. I prefer not to. How about, let's try this one. Yeah, unfortunately, I'll have to pay for that one too. So one option to work around that is to go back to the photos. And click, oh, here we are. Okay, cool. So uh, this is one really good tip about using Canva. Usually the reason that they want you to pay is because the photo itself is copyrighted, but the print here, this stuff is not, and you can edit that however you want. So actually I wanna go back, okay, to this here. Let's say I really like this font, Sweet Summer Pool Party, right? But I wanna get rid of the watermarks. So what I'm gonna do, let's see, okay, I removed the picture, and I'm gonna put this picture in instead. So now I have it spread, it's covering the whole thing. I'm gonna position it all the way to the back. Look at that. No more watermarks, right? No more of that crisscross grid because it was the picture that was copyrighted and needed to be paid for, but the rest I didn't have to. So let's see what else I can do here. I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna ungroup it, it's all grouped together. I'm gonna remove this, maybe I'll move this up. And let's see what I want to do with this photo. I'm going to move this to the side a bit so the legs aren't so much in the picture. Maybe something like that. I think that's good. That way you can see the writing better without the feet being in the way. For this, I would I'm going to make it a little bigger. Let's see how far it will go. 120. Okay. And the bottom here, well, you're hosting a party, right? You're hosting a Poshmark party. So again, I'm going to ungroup this whole section here. And I'm going to make this bigger. What am I going to do to it? I'm going to say, let's say I'm hosting a party August 7th, 2019. And I'm going to say 7 p.m. Pacific time. I'm going to want this bigger because we want people to see it even if they're on a cell phone, which is very small. So let's see, okay, I changed it to 36, that's pretty good. 42, even better. This join me is way too small. And I'm just gonna remove that for now to make things simpler. Let's see there, okay, I'm gonna move this down. Actually, let's see what would happen if I 
Make it bold. That's nice. Bold. I'm going to make it even bigger so that everyone can see it. And I'm going to lower this. Let's see if I can lower this a bit. There we are. So you see more of this pool party. Uh, let's see here. This is a little bit hard to read, isn't it? So what you can do is go to elements. This is a little fancier. You don't have to do this. I'm going to put a shape in there. So I put a shape that's a square. I'm going to make the picture white color. And I'm going to change the transparency over here to, well, let's try to start, let's say 70. Okay. You see this has to go back. So I'm going to move it back a little bit. And okay. There it is. So actually the transparency is a little bit, could be a little bit less. There, maybe 50% works. There we are. And then for the sweet summer, why don't I change that? I'm going to make it oh, too big. <laughs> I'm going to go back. And I think a, like another color would be better. There. Just like that. That's good. Something like that. Okay. And I might want to say instead, um, what kind of Poshmark party is it? It could be a summer Poshmark party. Now it's gotten a little big. I'm just going to remove this here. And do something like that. That works, right? I can change this wording again. I might say I'm hosting a party. I can change this color. I can do something else to it. This is just a start to see where you can get what you can do and then keep going. And I want to finish up with a little bit more here. What you'll see sometimes is that people group and categorize the items in their closet by color or by item. Like they might have all the bags together, all the jeans together, all the shoes together. I personally don't do that. I don't care to do it. It's not really important to me. And I don't think people search in that way usually. But if you like it, this is an option for you. Let's say you find a template you like, like a picture you like. And let's say it's this one. You can just go ahead and copy the page. And let's say I want to say pants. Uh, the next one might be shirts. Oops. And then I might make another one that says uh, sweaters. Okay, and then I'm going to extend this a little bit more. Put this in the center. There we are. Okay, so now we have several that look the same, and you can use them all in your closet. The last thing to do is to download the picture that you want and insert it into your Poshmark closet. I'll show you how to do that. And I'm going to go up to a different one here. So this is page 15. I'm just going to remember that. And it says, like this post to be notified of new arrivals. I'm going to show you why I picked this one in a sec. So I go here to the right uh, top corner and click download. For file type, you can pick PNG or JPEG. Doesn't matter. I'm going to do JPEG because it's a smaller file size and I'm going to pick page 15. If I wanted more, I would select more, but I just want this one now. Click done and download. Then when this downloads here, it's good to go. I'm going to go to my Poshmark closet. Oh, actually I don't have to just yet. I'm going to go sell on Poshmark and then go down to here, upload photos, there it is. It's the first one. It's ready to go. And then for the title, I might just repeat, like, like this post to be notified of new arrivals. Same thing for the description. I might say, uh, like what you see, like this post, and you'll be notified when new items drop. I'm going to go down for category. I'll pick other, none, one size, and I'll go down here. Original price, it doesn't matter what you put. You can put zero, you can put $20,000, doesn't matter. Listing price, I would suggest putting a high number, and I'm going to do a thousand. I'll show you why you don't want to do a zero. 
because let's get this up first in my closet. Okay. So in my closet, here it is. I'm going to close that. This is the post. And you see here it says $1,000. But if I were to put $0, look, it would say not for sale. And I don't like that for a few reasons. One, because if someone comes to my closet and they search by available listings, they're not going to see this post that I want them to see. They're just going to, it's going to be gone. It's going to disappear because it says not for sale. Another thing is that I think it looks better to have your whole picture showing. <laughs> you don't need a, a tag at the bottom that says not for sale. It's just not pretty. And if you have a lot of these signs in your closet that say not for sale, it's just not very attractive. I don't think it's very inviting for a possible buyer. The last thing that's good about having an available listing like this is that if I click on it, let's say that I've added 10 new listings to my closet and I've had a bunch of people like this, they wanna be notified. So what I'll do is I'll like it myself and I'm gonna lower the price. You have to lower by at least 10% lower than the historic lowest price. So in this case, it would be like 900, but to be safe, I'll just say $800. And then you'll see here in my news feed. I got it. It says, I lowered the price. Like this, post to be notified of new arrivals. It's here. And <laughs> how, how, how funny, someone actually <laughs> liked this post. I didn't realize that before. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, anyway. So you see, it works. People will like the post if they like what you have in your closet. And then when you lower the price because you've added new things, they'll be notified, they'll see this sign, and they'll come to your closet and take a look. Of course, this doesn't last forever, right? Because eventually it'll get down from 800 to like 700, 600 and keep going lower until you can't possibly lower it anymore and let people get notifications. But it works for a while. So I still would recommend it if you like doing this. So there are all these reasons to uh, have this kind of post and have these kinds of signs in your closet. I would recommend one more thing, which is to not clutter up the top of your closet with these posts because on a cell phone, you can only see two at a time, maybe four at a time. And people don't wanna keep scrolling through the top of your closet through a number of these posts that aren't actual sale items. And they're just gonna leave your closet completely. So I would say maybe two, three max, or spread them out around your closet. That way just people see them sporadically and you're good. I hope you enjoyed this Canva tutorial on how to make Poshmark signs. Have fun making signs and I'd love to see what you have. Feel free to tag me if you want SF Girl 2015. I'd love to see your signs.